it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my September favourites. So yeah, if you'd like to see that, then please carry on watching. Also, please excuse my voice. I feel like I sound croaky. I definitely sound croaky. <laughs> please pray that I'm not coming down with a cold. Aside from that, you may notice that I'm in a different room today. Um, I usually film in my living room. Um, this is actually the room I usually film my try on hauls in. And I just thought, you know what? I've got this little cozy chair in the corner and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna film in here today, so that's what's happening. So the first favourite is a vase or set of vases that I bought from H&M that I just could not believe the price of. These were $12.99 for both. How beautiful. Like when I ordered them, I thought they have to be tiny for that price. I just couldn't believe it because I, I just couldn't believe it. Excuse me. I've been um, kind of using them as ornaments Obviously they are vases, you can use them as a vase, but I just think they look beautiful, kind of like this, with a little gap in the middle, or obviously you can put them together like this. But yeah, I don't know if they're still available, but oh my god, I love these. My other home favourite is also from H&M, which is the Evergreen Forest Room Spray. And now this was in the sale for £6, I don't know if it still is but it literally just smells like a pine Christmas tree, which I love. Last year at Christmas, I got like a Christmas pine kind of evergreen forest oil and I was dabbing it on our fake Christmas tree. This is what it smells like. So now the fact that I can spray it around the room is amazing. I do kind of feel like it's more Christmassy. However, I've been loving it so much. I've started spraying it already. I also have two fashion favorites this month. I haven't been buying many clothes, but there are two pieces which have been standouts to me. First one being this trench that I bought from Arquette. It will be in another video soon, um, my new and my wardrobe, if that hasn't gone up already. Um, and it's basically this beige short trench that I've honestly been living in. I bought this in the summer just knowing, um, mainly knowing I'd love it and also knowing it would go out of stock. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's just beautiful yeah they've bought it out in black as well which i feel like i need <laughs> and the second one is very new like this week new but that's how obsessed i am and i bought the skims dress in gray so i already have it in two colors that's how obsessed i am with them and honestly i could just live in them i've already said to my friend like honestly i could just have that dress in every color in my wardrobe i could honestly just be like every single day which skin dress am i wearing today because it is that comfy, that flattering, that I just, I could just live in it. I feel like it's really dark in this room. I don't know if it's just me. Please let me know. Hopefully the lighting's fine. The rest of my favourites are beauty, except one. Um, so I'll go into those. So since getting into the cold weather, I feel like towards the end of the summer I was wearing a lot of like oranges, pinks and peaches. Whereas now we're going into the winter, I'm really going for that kind of flush cheeks look which I love. So not a new blush, but I've been wearing a lot more like bright pinks and reds. So my Fenty blushes in Daiquiri Dip and Strawberry Drip, and then also my Chanel blush in 720, 720, N20. The Chanel one is kind of like a taupey red, um, taupey red, a brownie red. That kind of gives me like sunburn vibes. And then and then these are the two Fenty ones. I've got strawberry drip on my cheeks at the moment. Um, but yeah, just really going for that flushed cheeks look. Also been enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Concealer. I have this in Too Fair, which uh, if you watch my review, it is slightly too light for me. I always say this, you know, when you, once you blend a concealer in, I feel like you can work concealers that are too fair for you. Not too dark, that can look bad, but if it is too fair, you know, as long as you're using the right foundation, skin tint shade and bronzer, etc., you can make them work. So it is a little bit bright, but I just don't use too much of it. Um, I possibly could do with a darker shade. I have been really enjoying that. My perfume, which, so in the summer, I was obsessed with Replica. What is it called? Beach walk. <laughs> I was obsessed with beach walk. I was literally spraying it every single day. It literally, that is my summer fragrance. And when my friend bought this one for my birthday, I kind of already knew, I was like, that is gonna be my autumn fragrance. And I was so correct. Like, I don't know if I wanna spray this because I've just sprayed <laughs> the room spray 
oh my goodness. Replica coffee break. I just, <laughs> it smells so edible. It says creamy and cozy coffee. Does it say anything else for you? But it is, it is creamy and cozy. It doesn't smell like coffee, if you're wondering. Well, at least I don't think so. I don't think it smells like coffee because when a lot of people were raving about this, I did think, oh, I probably won't like it because I don't, I don't like the smell of straight black coffee, but it doesn't. It just smells oh, so, so yummy. And it has got like vanilla in it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, you need this in the autumn. You just do. I've also really been enjoying the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Um, I actually ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury one kind of around the time I did the review video or, you know, finding the dupe. And I haven't repurchased my Charlotte Tilbury one. I've just continued to use this one because I just thought it was just as good. I didn't think it was better, but I thought it was just as good. And to be honest, the packaging on the Charlotte Tilbury one infuriated me. <laughs> and, you know, that sounds like a weird reason to be the reason I didn't repurchase it, but it just does. All of the writing rubs off it, which is odd because I don't find that with any of her other products. So yeah, on top of it being just as good, I actually think the packaging is nicer on the e.l.f. one. So I've pretty much been wearing this every single day. And then literally one of my, probably the most boring favorites in this video is Aquaphor Soothing Skin Balm which my friend got me on to. I use it for, it's honestly like a multi-purpose balm. Um, I use it for my lips. The main thing I've been loving it for is putting it on my eyelashes and then curling my eyelashes. So, I mean, can you see my eyelashes? I don't know if you can. Um, I've honestly, since I've bought this, since the day I've bought this, I haven't put on mascara. I've just been putting this on and curling my eyelashes and I think it looks so much better than mascara. <laughs> I mean, mascara was always one of those things that frustrated me anyway. Like, it never looked good. Um, half the time I put mascara on, I think my lashes look better before. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that? Like, you put on a little bit of mascara and you think, oh, it's not doing anything. And then you put on too much and you think it looks awful. I just hate mascara, basically. So yeah, this is basically about her my new mascara in a really weird way. It's like a tad expensive for like a balm, I guess, but you get quite a lot. And like I say, it's kind of like multi-use. We are on to our last favourite. My last favourite is not Beauty Fashion or Home, which is odd for me. Um, I feel like this month I haven't been buying as many clothes or as much makeup. Yeah, I guess that's the reason I haven't got like loads to talk about in this video. But when I stop to think about in any other categories, like something I've been absolutely loving, this was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> um, so I promise you this wasn't just a throw in to fill a gap. Like I honestly have been obsessed with these. Which are the best buff and goes. I can't tell you how many of these we've eaten. It's honestly been verging on one a day, which is really bad for multiple reasons. Bad because just bad. And secondly, I really don't want to overdo it and then make myself not like them anymore because that is a thing. I don't know what else to say. 50p pound land though, bargain. So there we go, that is the end of my September favourites. Please let me know if you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.